random senseless violence lands two teenagers in the hospital and puts their careers in jeopardy. A college quarterback and his girlfriend are still recovering after being shot one week ago. This couple was driving to dinner at the time. Now they are suffering from life altering injuries. Q13 News reporter Olivia LaVoice has that story for us tonight. I never expected to get a call like that for my son. Nikita Anderson says it still doesn't feel real. Last Friday, his 19 year old son, Jaheed, and his girlfriend left to go get dinner. Stopped at a busy intersection in Rainier Valley, someone opened fire. It's something that no one can prepare for because we did everything that, as a parent, you're supposed to do, and he's done everything as a kid you're supposed to do to keep something like this from happening. I mean, what else can you do? Jahid's girlfriend, Samaria, was hit in the side. She's still in the hospital. Doctors are unable to remove the bullet as it's too close to her spine. Jahid's injury isn't considered as medically serious, but it is still life altering. He's a college quarterback on a scholarship to play football as a quarterback, and he got hit in his throwing hand. The 19 year old junior at Miles College is praying his hand will be recovered by the end of July and he'll be ready for the season. But the extent of the injury is still unknown, and the senselessness of it is gut wrenching for the family. I know every dad says this, but I have the type of son that everybody wants to have. Both Jahid and his girlfriend graduated early and took college courses during high school. They're straight A students with big goals. Both attend school out of state and are just home for the summer. They have no idea why anyone would want to harm them. The way these shootings are going right now, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason for the way that they're doing things. It's like they're playing video games with people's lives right now. It's not the first time the family has been rocked by violence. Last year, one of Jahid's best friends and longtime teammates, UW freshman Connor Dassa Holland, was gunned down on Mother's Day. He was a straight A student himself. He was the class president. And somebody, somebody murdered this kid in front of his house. You're killing kids and shooting kids who obviously are doing everything to stay away from that life, to get out and do something with themselves. You're destroying the future of the neighborhood. Olivia LaVoice, Q13 News.